Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about a very important and very interesting topics that what is the effects of autonomic nervous systems on our blood vessels. So we know that autonomic nervous system is consist of two things that means sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. So we know that sympathetic nervous system causes vasoconstriction and parasympathetic nervous system causes vasodilation. But what are the mechanisms? Okay, so let's see. At first you have to know that you have to know that that what types of receptors are located on blood vessels, then you will easily guess the effect of the autonomic nervous system. Okay, so we know that in a blood vessels, there are three layers, that means endothelial linings and smooth muscle cell layer, and the outermost layer is tunica adventitia. Okay, so in smooth muscle cell layer of blood vessels, there are located the alpha 1 adrenoceptors that means alpha 1 receptors okay so here you can see an smooth muscle cells okay this is the smooth muscle cells of blood vessels and you can see in the cell membrane there are alpha 1 adrenoceptors so when norepinephrine or epinephrine will bind with the alpha 1 receptors and all of us know that alpha 1 is a gq couple receptor that's why when epinephrine or norepinephrine that means ligand of alpha 1 adrenoceptor interacts with this receptor gq protein will be activated and this will ultimately activate the phospholipase c enzyme and this phospholipase c enzyme will increase the intracellular calcium level how does it causes it the phospholipase c enzyme opens the calcium channel located on cell membrane of smooth muscle cells and also it opens the calcium channel located on smooth muscle endoplasmic reticulum or sarcoplasmic reticulum okay that's why from inside of the sarcoplasmic reticulum it is a storehouse of calcium that's why more and more calcium will efflux from the sarcoplasmic reticulum to cytoplasm of the smooth muscle cells and also from the extracellular space calcium channel will enter into the smooth muscle cell cytoplasm that's why within the that means inside of the smooth muscle cell there will be increased calcium ion concentrations okay so this increased calcium ion concentration and this more and more calcium will bind with the intracellular calmodulin intracellular calmodulin and they will form the calcium calmodulin complex okay so this calcium calmodulin complex then activate the myosin light chain kinase enzyme and this myosin light chain kinase enzyme will phosphorylate the myosin chain that means activate the myosin chain then when myosin chain become activated then it will interact with actin actin filament that's why actin myosin coupling will occur and if actin myosin coupling occurs definitely there will be contraction of these smooth muscle cells and if the smooth muscle cells of blood vessels is contracted that means you can easily guess that vasoconstriction will occur okay that's mechanism by this mechanism sympathetic nervous system causes vasoconstriction Okay, so another mechanism is that parasympathetic nervous system causes vasodilation. But what is the mechanism? At first, you have to know that that what types of receptors are located on blood vessels. There are muscarinic three receptors located on endothelial cells. This is not located on smooth muscle cells. Remember it. This is located on endothelial cells. That's why you can see here that muscarinic three receptors is located on endothelial cells and if we zoom in the endothelial cells what is happening inside of the cell you can see i have zoom in the endothelial cells here this is the endothelial cells so when i have mentioned that there are muscarinic three receptors that's so when parasympathetic stimulation that means acetylcholine will interact with these m3 receptors and m3 is gq coupled protein gq coupled receptor that's why gq protein will be activated just as before mechanism so if gq activated then phospholipase c enzyme will be activated and phospholipase c enzyme will increase the intracellular 
calcium level that means inside of the endothelial cell phospholipase c enzyme will increase the calcium concentration by opening the calcium channel of cell membrane and also the calcium channel located on sarcoplasmic reticulum that's why inside of the endothelial cells there will be increased amount of calcium concentration so this more and more calcium will bind with the calcium and calmodulin complex and they calcium and calmodulin complex will be formed by this increased calcium concentration then this calcium calmodulin complex will activate the endothelial nitric oxide synthase enzyme here is the little bit differences because you have to see that in earlier mechanism the calcium calmodulin complex will activate the myosinlateral kinase in smooth muscle cells but in case of in case of endothelial cells this calcium calmodulin complex will activate the endothelial nitric oxide synthase and this enzyme will form nitric oxide more and more nitric oxide inside of the endothelial cells and we know that nitric oxide is a lipid soluble gas that's why it will be easily diffuse out of the endothelial cells that means nitric oxide gas will diffuse out of the endothelial cells and it will enter into the smooth muscle cells located just beneath the endothelial lining you can see here the nitric oxide have come out from the endothelial cells and enter into the smooth muscle cells so what it will do inside the smooth muscle cells okay so let's see the nitric oxide have entered into the smooth muscle cells it is the smooth muscle cells and this nitric oxide activate the guanylyl cyclase enzyme and this guanylyl cyclase enzyme will form more and more cyclin gmp this increased cyclin gmp will activate the protein kinase g enzyme and this protein kinase g enzyme will start to close the all of the calcium channel of the smooth muscle cell membrane and also the calcium channel of sarcoplasmic reticulum that's why no more calcium will be able to enter into the smooth muscle cells from the extracellular space and also from the sarcoplasmic reticulum because protein kinase g enzyme have already closed all of the calcium channel that's why inside of the smooth muscle cells there will be shortage of calcium ion that's why calcium calmodulin complex cannot be formed in proper amount that's why vasoconstriction cannot be occurs that means you can tell indirectly there will be smooth muscle relaxation and if smooth muscle relaxation occurs that means definitely it will be vasodilation by this mechanism the parasympathetic stimulation cause vasodilation and sympathetic stimulation cause vasoconstriction thank you all of you please keep me in your prayer see you again inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullah